The fancy fill is a decorative fill where the needle penetrations form a pattern. You can use this type of fill in wide and large areas. You can use the icon to apply the fill, or you can apply the fill through object properties. These stitches form a repeating pattern, but they have the appearance of a solid stitch. In object properties, you can choose from among 180 different patterns. Simply click on the one that you wish to use and you'll see a preview in the preview window. The change will not be made until you click on apply or OK. You can find stitch outs for the fancy fills in the built-in reference folder as well. They will be in the embroidery file, Bernina 8 Embroidery, Reference Files, and you'll find these in the Fancy Fill folder. This fill can be edited in size, rotation of the pattern, stitch spacing, column spacing and offset, and row spacing and offset. When values are changed in object properties, the preview window updates so that you can see what the change will look like before making the change. Notice when you rest your cursor in the value boxes for column spacing and offset and row spacing and offset, a double blue arrow shows you what will change in the pattern. Sculptured Fancy Fill can be applied to objects with turning stitches which are multiple angles in a single object. This arc has turning stitches. This type of stitch will create a three-dimensional pattern, and I can apply that by clicking on the icon or placing a dot in the sculpture under the preview window. Either an object has to be created with multiple angles with the block digitizing tool, in the digitized toolbox, or stitch angles must be added to an object by using add stitch angles in the edit toolbox. You'll learn how to use these tools a little bit later in the video series.